Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello and welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey. I'm your host, David E. McClendon, Sr. And uh, today we're going to give you the second part of our introduction. But first, let's start off with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for all the wonderful things you've given us. Thank you for all the people that have uh, come to try to learn a little bit about Life Recipe to help get some balance in their life, uh, to get things worked out the way that they, uh, they need to have and get some organization in their life. Please be with all of these people and please be with all of our students. Please be with our family and bless us. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. We know that it, everything is yours, Lord, and we just have to... Uh, um, be good stewards of all that you give us. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, I told you yesterday, we left off the uh, last video talking about uh, how we had the new job and we thought that that would be the uh, um, change in our life that would be for the good. But uh, what it ended up being was actually made things worse. And what I mean is Okay, we started out with this new job. I'm working for a supervised lender, which uh, a lot of people call a finance company. Well, I was working for this finance company, and uh, because I was working with a finance company, there were uh, other companies that were willing to um, make a consolidation loan to me, even though my credit wasn't all that uh, solid just yet. And nobody told us that uh, you shouldn't consolidate utility bills. You shouldn't borrow money to pay off... Uh, the light bill, the water bill, the phone bill, the gas bill, that type of thing. Because next month, the light bill, the water bill, the phone bill, the gas bill are due again. And so is the uh, bill on the uh, consolidation loan. And uh, what we learned uh, too late was that uh, I should have called and worked uh, out things with the different uh, utility companies. Um, managed to uh, work my way up through the, uh, the company. And Suzanne was working for a friend of ours. And... Uh, uh, along the way, um, we decided that we needed another car because the car that we had purchased uh, started having a fuel leak and it was cost us a lot in gas and a lot of repair bills. And uh, we decided to trade that car for another car. And that seemed like a reasonable thing to do. So we traded that car for a uh, Ford uh, Festiva. And uh, because this car was small, very maneuverable, and got a lot of great gas mileage, um, we decided that we should take on a paper route. Well, Suzanne went to sign us up for a paper route, and uh, we ended up getting signed up for two paper routes that were adjacent. One was in a very good neighborhood, and one was in a not-so-good neighborhood. And uh, we went out, we managed to build these paper routes up, and the paper routes themselves, even after working on them, weren't all that uh, profitable. It was profitable, but not that profitable. But we learned that by putting the Avon books, the Tupperware books, and then later Amway books into the newspapers, that uh, we could increase sales on the, uh, those particular uh, venues. Anyway, so uh, we increased the sales and we in, uh, improved the routes drastically where our two routes were becoming the two most profitable routes in the entire company and we took on another route. So uh, after working on that third route for a while, those three routes were the three most popular routes or most uh, um, profitable routes in the uh, entire company. And the uh, um, powers that be there at the newspaper uh, decided to hire me uh, as a district manager. And they kept uh, trying to get us to, to come on as a district manager. And in the meantime, uh, I was being solicited by one of the uh, other finance companies to come to work for them as a uh, collection manager. And uh, spoke with their supervisor, and the supervisor... Uh, saw what I was making at the, the one company and offered me, he said, oh, I'll pay you at least $50 a week more uh, to come to work for us and uh, you won't have any overtime. With the one company, I was working a pretty good bit of overtime and there he says, you know, every week we work three hours of overtime, no more. Anyway, so uh, I resigned from the one place, went to the other place and uh, when we got to the other place, realized or found out that he really wasn't going to follow through with this promise of this uh, increased pay. 
and that there really were overtime hours that they weren't going to pay for, that they expected uh, me to work off the clock. And in addition to that, this company paid direct deposit. And this was back before everybody paid direct deposit through direct deposit. And so um, I had two bank accounts at the one time, and they were uh, making the uh, direct deposits to the one account. They never did get credited quite right. And so I said, well, maybe we'll try it over at the other bank. Maybe the uh, um, interface between the two banks will work better between the uh, company that's paying me and my other bank because it's a larger bank. And they never got that worked right, out right either. The money would come in, it looked like it was deposited, and then it wouldn't be, and I'd write checks uh, assuming it was deposited after having checked it. And uh, checks would return, and lo and behold, one of the checks returned was to this company that I was working for now for uh, um, a payment on an account that I had with them, one of those consolidation loans I told you about. And uh, when the supervisor heard about this, he told the manager, so if any other checks come back, you need to fire him. Well, so here I am, our, our pay is in jeopardy, and uh, so... We went ahead and accepted the offer. The newspaper kept offering, kept offering, kept offering about uh, district manager. And so I went ahead and accepted their offer. And what I was supposed to be was a floating district manager. And my job was going to be to uh, assist the other district managers since I had had great experience out on a uh, newspaper route. Suzanne and I had built up the three newspaper routes and we'd done very well with that. They thought that we could help the uh, district managers build up their routes, uh, get things uh, better profitable on the routes and uh, so they hired me to come to work for them um, again with a promise of higher pay and every month I made district manager of the month except for one and uh, everything was going uh, well with that now uh, two days after I went to work for the one company two district managers quit so now I wasn't the floating district manager that was supposed to help out district managers I was the district manager over uh, three different districts there at the uh, the newspaper. And uh, still I managed to make district manager of the month every month and to still have uh, profitable routes. Um, and things looked fairly well uh, until we got pregnant. And I'll tell you about what happened when we got pregnant in the next episode. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and uh, let us know how we're doing with these courses. Of course, this is an introduction. The uh, um, remainder of this week will be introduction, kind of let you know where we're coming from. And uh, in the meantime, check out uh, Suzanne's blog at psannie, ps-annie.blogspot.com and uh, see a little bit more about uh, where she's coming from, learn a little bit more about her, and uh, let us know what you think. Drop us a line, put some email or comment in the comment box below, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk.